Today, today we're going to have a look at level four in the Myths and Rails uh, DLC for Train Valley 2. This one's called Workshop Dalvin Guard. So we've got 13 minutes. We can't destroy any track tiles and we must spend at least 310,000. All right, so let's have a look here. So this is another one where we've got a combination of letters and also a job. So our job is to make eight books. Eight books require with three dies and paper and people. So our dies require A, B, D. Okay, so I guess the first thing we want is this guy connected and we want this connected so we can send people there. And then I suppose we want people connected in other spots, but it depends on where we get our first um, die requests as well. So we've got this guy asking to go to A. So if we just draw a line there, then we want these guys to turn around that corner. Shot there. Let's send another guy. So this is our nice, quick, easy money. Okay, so let's get this guy going here. Uh, we can also send three guys in here to match. It's a total of eight that we need for each. So upgrading these will be a good measurement towards the end of this and um, I mean it'll be good for making our money as well let's send these guys this way it's just a quick little short money making venture this one okay so we need this guy as well get into here and we've got as well. We don't want our letters to overwhelm us at all. And okay, we need to be able to sit in that corner. This is a cheap little option. There's around there. Um, let's get some more guys just in here ready to go for whenever that time comes. Let's get this guy over here. That'll be nine guys in there, so that's enough for what he'll ultimately need. I've got the eight here for, for what I need, but I suppose I can just send more guys there for the, the money. Uh, let's send this guy south too. Go just clear someone else out of a house. We don't need um, ink. We want to connect these guys. and just to clear these guys out now the other thing is that we will get four of these sort of letter colors as we um upgrade the trains so for something like this i suppose two trains would have just had it done for us so we almost want to upgrade trains and then use those upgraded trains before we um we take advantage of some of these colors so for example we've got two b's two upgraded trains and we're set uh, instead, what we'll do is we'll use this one to drop that guy off just to give us 12,000 for, for that. One, make a little bit more money. Everybody wins. Alright, so make sure these guys are going to head the right way. Into there. Um, it's our best bet. How are we going to connect here? Alright, do we have anyone? Any bees? Yes, we do. So, but we don't want to do that without using upgraded trains. Upgrade that guy. Send him to here. We do have another available train. So let's send this guy all the way over to E as well. He should move a little bit quicker than, than these guys. sooner we can get more money 
that off. There we are, second one of that. Though I've made a mistake there because it's now only a three. But it does mean that we can also then get this guy to do that same task. Upgraded train. Just gotta wait for him to pass him. Send the first one of these over here as well. I mean, these ones are just moving manufactured goods, so it doesn't really matter what size frame they are. But we will use those two. This guy's going in. Uh, that means that this guy doesn't matter if he's a smaller train, because it's just arriving. This guy will send around this way. Good, that was a four-seater train. Upgrading this guy seems pretty high priority too. Also, what we probably want to do is see if we can just whip these guys around. Save us having to, to connect them through anything else. Oh, we've let these guys totally overshoot, so let's just pause everything for a second here just to make sure that we have any collisions. Okay, so let's turn him around, turn him around. Get in there. Get this guy's correct there. Get that one just in time, no. Let's send this guy up to B. E. Um, do need a little bit more in A. Are we looking for D? We need one more. All right, can we get this guy? That. Send this around that way. Uh, we'll then send this guy, and we'll upgrade him. And we'll send this guy around onto this one. We also need to get some people in here. Actually, we don't want to send this guy in there. We want to send this guy there. Let's just pause this guy for a second while he's moving on through that way. Start to send some passengers over to this one. While we're waiting, can't afford any more trains. This guy's shifting. There's a new train for us. It's a small one, but basically all we're doing here is just trying to clear, clear people out of waiting. I realize I don't have to wait like a second, and I would have got him a bit more leveled up. Okay, so that's eight guys arrived in there, so that's all the yellow we need. Um, this will be the eight arrived in blue, so that's all we need. We then just need to get eight guys over here. Once that guy's out of the way, we can just move these guys through. Still looking at spending a bit more money. Okay, so that's the eight guys heading here. And what we need to do is just, yeah, get rid of more people, uh, more of our numbers before they start to, to complain that we're not giving them enough attention. Send this guy down, send that guy down. There's two. This guy's got his nine made, so let's send him this way. You can just swing around in there. I did do it again where I've forgotten to upgrade that one slow train and so it means I can't push anyone else behind this guy yet because I could crash into the back of him. Buy another train and upgrade it. Okay, so while we're waiting again, what can we move? Let's clear this guy out of here and get him there. He won't get in anyone's way. Uh, and we can send this guy and he's just going to go that same path as well. I'd say that's probably a good enough lead, that guy. So we'll send two more trains of blue behind him. I'm 
managing our, um, our letters pretty well at the moment. Oh yeah, those guys won't catch him. Good. Uh, we'll spend for another another train just to get that money up. We'll upgrade these two guys. Get the chance as well. Upgrade that, upgrade that. Then what we'll do is we'll send two of these guys over here. Send that guy up and around to there. Send these guys. Uh, can we have this just run down the hill and connect for them? Perfect. Down this way and just join that same path. Uh, and then while we're waiting, just let's build a little long lines. There we go. So we've now got our max required distance. And as those two guys go past, we'll send these two guys, follow them up. Just want to make sure that we're staying on top of our letters. Send that guy out. We don't, we don't have to be doing all of them or any particular ones. We can just leave them be. The only important thing is that there's someone who's available and currently we've got three spots that are free or four spots so getting this guy into here isn't the biggest concern not destroying any tracks is really the the major concern at this point Though I recall on one of the other levels it did was your grief if you had anyone still, like any of these letter ones still sitting there when you finished the map. So I guess we do have to get them moving. What we'll want as well, is as soon as these guys come out of here, we want to give them just like the, I guess the fastest route back home. Where we can just sort of weirdly cut across this. Doesn't seem like it. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just speed things up a little bit here. So we'll send our first train and he will go all the way around there. Yeah. Anyway, we can cut across these mountains. No. Go number two. Them speed home. There we go. Five stars. Not bad for our real time speed. Game time abysmal. And funds not too bad. There we go. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Until next time, catch you later. See ya.